fresh headache for Peter Obi as Labour Party faction elects Ezewan Fall Jude, a former chairman of the party in Anambra State, as presidential candidate. A former chairman, Labour Party LP in Anambra, Jude Ezewan Fall, has emerged the factional presidential candidate of the party for the 2023 election. Mr. Ezewan Fall, a sole aspirant, emerged through affirmation during the factions primary held in Abuja on Wednesday. Addressing the national delegates after his emergence, Mr. Ezewan Fall said, I'm on a rescue mission to free Nigeria from social, economic, and political crisis currently bedeviling it. He said, having understudied two former governors in Anambra State and being the chairman of the party in the state, he had what it takes to lead the country to economic freedom. He also said he had a brighter chance of defeating the presidential candidate of other political parties, being a young man with energy and vigor. He said that with the level of insecurity in the country, Nigeria needs to be rescued. Labour is leading a revolutionary course. Labour Party will win the general election. Our party is going to take over Nigeria and bring back the glory Nigeria needs. I've been in the corridors of government for the past 20 years. We are here on a rescue mission, he said. The news agency of Nigeria NAN reports that Mr. Izenwafo was a former senior special assistant to former governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, and served under former governor Peter Obi for four months. Earlier, acting national chairman of the Labour Party, Kalistus Okafo, described the candidate as a man of integrity. Having made all the requirements of the party, we hereby affirm you to be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party come 2023. Mr. Okafo, while speaking on the candidacy of Mr. Obi, said, I'm not against you. My doors are open. I'm fighting for what is my right. I'm not fighting my brother. Those who think I'm being used should have a rethink, he said. <laughs> this one is coming like a shocker. Serious shocker because where uh, the, the, the fall will start from is this division, factional group right now. It was last week that um, Peter Obi emerged the, the presidential candidate, the flag bearer of the Labour Party, and it was rejoicing. Nigerians were rejoicing, celebrating that at least a third force has come out to um, defeat the two major political parties. Because if we look at APC and PDP, they are one and one, they are the same. However, we know Peter Obi uh, decamped. He left uh, the People's Democratic Party. He left the PDP and he said with what he's seen, there is no way he can uh, contribute. Uh, he saw the sort of game that was being played there and he quietly left. And the thing is that he didn't go to APC because uh, reactions were like, if he had gone to APC, we would know that um, he has other plans. It's just personal interest because politics in Nigeria is all personal interest but he went to the labor party and for that he was commended that at least you didn't go to apc because apc and pdp they are one they are the same they are the same if you look at the two parties there is no one that have not been through even atiko abubakar was once in apc now he's in pdp he's gone back and forth they've all gone back and forth it's only a few of them you know like weekend he's on weekend the governor of river state has been boasting with that there's one person that has not moved unlike the other ones they've been moving back and forth all for their personal and interest and personal ambition once they see that things are not going their way not really because of the people not because they are fighting change not because they really want to um, make a difference but just for their personal interest so peter Obi left pdp and went to the labor party he won the ticket and everyone was excited but this one is coming as a shocker as a faction group has just them um, risen conducted their own primary and elected a zen for jude as the presidential candidate of the party so Technically, there are two candidates. I don't know how this will work out. They will now have to go to court. Distractions here and there because Nigerians are already hoping that this is the party that will bring the change. You know, like I said before, PDP and APC, they are the same, they are the same set of politicians. They're the same people. They've all been promising, promising, and promising, but nothing has been seen. You know, even PDP's regime is not like it was 100%. But what we are seeing now under the All Progressive Congress is even more worse very worse you know uh, uh an incident happened in Owo. very sad one that lives were lost surprisingly one would think that apc would at least postpone the convention just for this this is something really serious
over 50 persons were killed. The, the people behind the attack have not even been seen. They were killed. And all they are, they are carrying on with the... Uh, just thinking about how to get there. That's what bothers them. No concern for the people. No. So if you look at these politicians, it's just their pocket. They're not really thinking about the people. Is it democracy? Democracy is all about the people. So APC and PDP is... Uh, is something that Nigerians is, is Nigerians are trying. They are looking for a way of escape out of these two major political parties. But uh, unfortunately, what's happening right now, uh, LP, they are trying to set up themselves for failure because we know very well that a house divided is against itself cannot stand. If they are starting with division for factional here and there, at the end of the day, <laughs> what will happen? We know what will happen. INEC might just eventually disqualify them. That. They have been disqualified. They presented two candidates because we've seen it play out in other states, uh, maybe uh, assembly, election, senate, or governorship as well. Once there are issues here and there that are not resolved, INEC will just disqualify the party that that party has been disqualified. And what is the chance of LP uh, producing a presidential candidate? It's really, really sad. I don't know what is going on, if this is a setup or if it's a game plan, uh, because this faction did not do anything, didn't say anything up till now uh, that um, they are coming up with this nigerians are already reacting it's coming as a shock someone is saying like seriously is this really happening another person early failure you see what i said it's early failure because if you're already fighting yourself how are you going to go out today you're supposed to be united working together if you really want to be the third force you're talking about the third force to defeat the ruling uh, all progressive congress and the main opposition's people's democratic party then you have to be united but early failure like this person said another one said um so uh, a house divided against itself cannot stand go and learn politicking from the house of fulani this what this person is referring to you know the north they will never betray themselves once they stand for something they support it once they they they, they speak one thing they speak with one voice and they go ahead with this. They go ahead with it. Someone says, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu trying to destroy his strongest opposition before the fight even begins. Someone is thinking now that uh, it looks like it's Bola Ahmed that is behind all of this. Well, we can't confirm that if it's Bola Tinubu, that's just that person's um, speculating and insinuating that it's possible that it's Bola Tinubu, but that cannot be confirmed. Another one says, if this is true, then I will not and will never advise anyone to vote. Nigeria is completely destroyed. It's a serious case. Well, guys, leave us your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again on more updates. Bye.